Hey everybody, so I'm going to be opening January's Ipsy bag and just came in the mail and it's a little bit earlier this month which is awesome because I feel like I just did December's bag but I'm not complaining. This is, what, this, this is what this bag, this month's bag, my goodness I can't talk, looks like it's uh, white on one side, blue on the other, red zipper, not sure I'm a huge fan of these colors but I mean I right now I'm just storing these bags I don't really know what to do I've been have I've had this subscription well over a year possibly two I have a lot of ipsy bags right now I'm just storing them and I keep telling myself I'm gonna gift them away with cute gifts inside for different occasions and I, and I haven't yet so if you have a good idea for these ipsy bags what to do with them let me know so uh, they're definitely stacking up okay the first thing I see is from eco beauty by La fresh group and it's a good day Good day, day moisturizer. Very interesting package. Reminds me of those like squeezy tube, um, what's it called? Like applesauce packages with the thing on top. So yeah, how much is in here? 0.5 of an ounce. It's, it's more than it looks. Like it looks quite flat, but 0.5 of an ounce is quite a bit. So I will get uh, quite a number of uses out of this. It's just a moisturizer, so it's nothing too exciting. But yeah, that's the first product. The second product is stuck in the bag and it's a brush and it's from Elizabeth Mott and it's the all over shadow brush and it's cute pink I do like the um, coloring on it um, and I'm just gonna pull it out I, haven't, I did open this bag last night but I haven't actually pulled the things out yet that's what it looks like it's quite thick pretty dense like a fluffy dense um, I don't know that it would blend very well, it's pretty dense, but it would be good for like a packing brush. I have lots of these, so it's not like super exciting to me, but it's the first time we've gotten a brush in a while anyways. The next product is from Pacifica, and we've gotten lots of these eyeshadows. This one's Coconut Eyeshadow. Coconut, yeah, and Ethereal. So that's what it looks like. I thought the color was coconut, but I'm guessing the color is Ethereal. Oh, there's a Riley. You come say hi. I'm making a video. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Okay, sit right here so they can see you. Oh, look up there. You see yourself? Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. You can help me with my video. Yeah. Okay. Can you stay quiet right here until I'm done? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. What is this? It's a brush. You can play with that. All right. I'm just trying to take the eyeshadow out of its package. I'm going to have to break it because it's stuck to it. Just so I can take a look at the color. Interesting. It's like a pearl white kind of color. Maybe a bit sandy. No, more like pearl white. Uh, not something I typically wear, so I'm sure that'll just sit to the side. Unfortunately, What's next? No, don't put it in your mouth. Oh, it's just for your face. You can use it on your face. Okay. The next product is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is Celebration, I guess is the color. It looks like a loose eyeshadow pigment in like a pretty coppery color. I've yet to open this also. Although I need to peel the little seal off it. Let's see what color this looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of loose pigments, but it's a very pretty color. Definitely up my alley. There it is. Very um, metallic copper. Let's watch it on my hand. Whoa. That has a crazy shine to it. So yeah, I don't often reach for loose pigments, but if I had to pick a color, that would definitely be the color I'd pick. Um, this is the last one we have to show them. Um, did we do five already? We did. Let's I want to out. pop them. You can pop it. Just let me take it out first. The next one is in bubble wrap. Here's the bubble wrap. So this is from Pro Bell Nail Lacquer. So it's a nail polish in like a, I don't know, blue color. What's that? Like a robin's egg blue. Not a color I typically wear on my nails. The color I'm wearing now is just because I was at my sister's wedding and that was the color of the bridesmaid's dress but I don't usually wear blues so not a huge fan of this color unfortunately and yeah that's it for this month's bag I'm a little unenthusiastic about it the nail polish which I probably won't wear and the eyeshadow which I probably won't wear just because of the colors the loose pigment which 
I like the color, but I won't gravitate towards very often. The moisturizer, which will get used, but it's a moisturizer. And then the brush. Do you have the brush? Yeah. Can I have it for a sec? Why? Just want to show them. Which um, is good. I mean, it will last a long time, and I'm sure at some point I'll use it. But again, not not super exciting this month, Ipsy, in my bag anyways. Let me know what you got in yours down below. I'm always curious to see what different things people got. I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.